There's one detail on the Fort Dix terror plot that's going under the radar screen, and it could bring to light an entirely new threat in the war on terrorism. Joining us now to expose the facts is James Jatris. He's a former Foreign Service officer with the State Department and now with the American Council for Kosovo. James, thanks for being here. Thank you, Allison. Glad to be here. Uh, what is the main point that the mainstream media is missing? Well, it, it's interesting how quickly uh, officials, including Tony Snow at the White House, moved to say there was no foreign terrorist connection to this plot. When it's quite clear there was a foreign, and indeed is a foreign terrorist connection to this plot, uh, namely uh, the affiliation of at least one of the members of the plot with a known terrorist organization that's been allowed to operate with virtual impunity here in the United what States for the better part of a decade. It's the Kosovo Liberation Army. This is a uh, jihad terrorist organization that has uh, wreaked havoc in, in the Balkan region, uh, you know, burning churches, monks beheaded. That has been connected to the uh, right. Madrid now, and James, London bombing. Why? Why doesn't the government know this? Or if the government does know it, and you used to work for the government, right, right. why? Why hasn't it told us? Uh, because uh, there, because we've had this, uh, I would say, misguided policy for at least a decade of supporting the uh, geopolitical agenda of this group in the Balkans and pretending essentially that they're freedom fighters rather than what they are, uh, which is a jihad terror organization. In, in a way, it's it's the kind of a blowback we saw from supporting Osama and his boys in Afghanistan, and then we were surprised when they had their own ideas and came back and hit us in the United States. Uh, but, but James, some of these um, suspects came from Kosovo in 1999. Uh, they, right. they were refugees. So what makes you think that they're still linked to the KLA? Well, one of them we know for sure, Abdullahu, who said he was a sniper in Kosovo. That means he was a KLM member. But the, the other thing to keep in mind is that there's a huge base of support for the Kosovo Liberation Army in the New York, New Jersey area. In fact, in 2004, on Dutch television, there was a documentary about people in the United States buying weapons, raising funds, shipping them over to the Balkans, and then these same uh, supporters of the Kosovo Liberation Army holding fundraisers for American politicians. James uh, Jatris, the director of the American Council for Kosovo, thanks very much. Thank very you. Very interesting story.